Hey everybody, Coach Brady here with Science of Speed. Hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your week. Uh, Tuesday's already wrapping up here on the East Coast for us, and uh, it's been a great week at Science of Speed. Handful of fits, a lot of time with our athletes already this week, whether that's on the phone or even in person, a lot of time with athletes. So, um, hope your guys' training is going well. I know that uh, for myself personally, it's gotten better as the month has gone on. Started off a little rough after the first of the year, but it's all going great. Uh, let's get to the important part though, why we're really here tonight, um, or why I'm really here tonight. You're here, I don't know why you're here, but hopefully we'll find out why you're here in a little bit. Um, we're here to talk about EDGE membership, which is our newest program that we've launched for you, our athletes. Um, and it doesn't matter if you're already a Science Speed athlete or you're considering it or you've been one in the past. What EDGE membership is for is for the person who's kind of dabbling in the thought of a coach, maybe not really looking to spend the amount that it would cost for customized coaching, but more looking to kind of dip your toes into the water, get a full experience of what a training plan is really like and how coaching can really benefit you. Uh, EDGE membership is an all access pass to our library of static training plans. Um, it's a, we're constantly working on growing this. We just launched this about 10 days ago, and I know in the last 10 days, we've already added three new plans to our membership. So something that we're constantly working on, constantly growing that library. It's only $25 a month, and what that gets you is, again, that all access pass to our training plan library. You're also going to have access to our Science of Speed workouts. So all the workouts that we have in our coaching tool that we use on a day-to-day -day basis as a coach, you're gonna have that for your own personal use as well. So uh, if the workouts don't work with what might work for your day, you can supplement and add a little bit into that. You also will get a Training Peaks Premium account. And with that Training Peaks Premium account, it's going to allow you to track your training, track your progress, and see exactly how things are coming along. And then on top of that, we're also adding in twice monthly phone calls or Q&A sessions that are going to be Zoom sessions with a coach, with one of our Science of Speed coaches. Really, how that plays out is going to be, it's open, open forum for you to ask one of our coaches questions that will benefit you. That can be training related, it can be nutrition related, it can be anything sleep related. Anything that our coaches have expertise in, we would love to help you guys out with that. So that's kind of the breakdown of how that membership works. Again, it's only $25 a month. It's prorated, so if you sign up today on the 26th, you're only gonna pay for the next five days of our membership here, um, and then it would bill again on the 1st of February. But prorated, so you're not paying the full month for only five days at this point, and moving forward, it would be that $25 a month from there on out. Um, we've had a couple questions in regards to really who is EDGE for, and the best way I can describe it, it's for endurance athletes who aren't quite sure about fully customized coaching or the cost of fully customized coaching. And this gives you that insight as to how a training plan can be laid out, um, particularly one of our expertise training plans that you know our coaches put a lot of time into these training programs to give you the best experience possible. And with that, you'll also get that Q&A session. So if something doesn't work out with your schedule, you can ask a coach, hey, I've got this on Wednesday night. What can I do to make this static plan work best for my personal needs? Um, and then you, it's, it's really up to you at that point. So how do you sign up? Super easy. If you go to our website, you'll go to scienceofspeed.org. You can go to our shop and you'll find the EDGE membership on there. You go in and you sign up for the EDGE membership. Just go through checkout with that. You'll create an account on there. And once you've done all of that, you can then access the training plan library in that same store and all of the pricing on that will be zeroed out. So once you go in and you select your training plan, I'm going to say Unbound because I see Ian is on here right now and I know that he's looking at Unbound um, in his future training plan. You can go in and look at Unbound Gravel. You can check on that, select your start date for that. You have to do a little bit of math to figure out, okay, this is a 16 week training plan. Unbound is the first weekend of, of June. Work your way back from there and it'll work out perfect for you. Um, if you've got an event that's on your calendar, then what we recommend is maybe not specifically all of the events, the event calendars that we have, but look at what's specific to your where your weaknesses might be. So maybe you've got a really good FTP, you're a crit racer, a road racer, but your punch is kind of limited. So you look at that training program and build specifically for you. So you've signed up. Now, what do you use or how do you use this? 
So you'll get into your training program, it's loaded up, and then from there, you'll get started. We always start with an FTP test. So whether you're looking at a four week, an eight week plan, whatever it may be, FTP test, field testing is crucial. If we don't have accurate data to work with, the plans won't work effectively for you. And whether that's in our customized coaching or whether that's in a static plan, just like we're using with the Edge membership, all of that will, will work out for you perfectly. So take a look at what plans might benefit you. Um, who designs the plans is another thing that we've, we've had a couple athletes ask. Our coaches design them. So our coaches, dependent upon what we've seen over the years and the needs of our community, and, and especially here in the Tallahassee area, or I love gravel, I'll be honest, I've been doing gravel events for about the last 10 years now. It's one of my favorite things that there is. So in the gravel community, we've got a big following here in the Southeast for gravel events. Um, big events like what was Dirty Kansas now Unbound Gravel. We've got, I think, six athletes that are science of speed athletes going to SBT Gravel this year. So we key off of what our athletes are currently doing, what's popular in the community, and what people are really getting out there to do. And it's got to be challenging because if it's easy, you're not going to go to it. So I see a handful of people on here so far this evening. If you've got any questions, don't, feel, don't hesitate to drop them in there. Love to answer whatever you might have. Jake, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you out there in California. A um, couple things coming up in the future, just so you guys have a little bit better idea of what you might see in the training plan store. Like I already said, in the last 10 days, we've already added three training plans. So in the future, we're looking at more short-term training plans, so more specificity to your training uh, instead of the 8, 12, and 16-week plans. So you can really hone in on what your weakness might be how are you going to improve that? And through the Q&A sessions, you can talk with your coach as well or the coach that's on that session and get some insight from them to basically, here's what I'm seeing in my training right now or here's what I'm seeing in my racing and my events. How can I improve my performance or what plan would you recommend for me to improve my performance? And that would be a great option for you. But with that, you're gonna see more of those four to six week training plans that are very energy specific or energy system specific and focused they're going to hone in to help individual athletes find those goals so if you're doing a 100 mile gravel ride or if you're doing a 300 mile gravel ride what event is going to be out there what plan will help you get from a to b if it's not just that big 16 to 20 week plan that will get you there so more fine tuning for what you need as an athlete in particular as opposed to just what we have seen our athletes already do up until this point. Um, event specific plans that we do have coming up or event specific plans right now. So we've got Unbound Gravel. We have a lot of the events in the Southeast. So Six Gap Century is a big one for us. Locally here in Tallahassee, we have Dirty Pecan, which is only about six weeks out. So you're looking at a little different plan than what our static plan might be for that. Um, we have several marathon plans that are on there, anything from Boston Marathon Training Plan to the Tallahassee Marathon Training Plan that we've got on there. And one of our most popular ones, it, it's kind of funny, but it's, a, it's just a 5K plan. It's a tune-up plan, so it's all super high-intensity work for those 5K runners, um, leading them up to the four weeks to their key event. So working, you've worked all season long on building that aerobic threshold, building that sustainable pace. Now... Let's put the screws to it and really punch up that pace a little bit. So that's what uh, what event-specific plans you can really expect to see in the training plan. Uh, and then for the coaches, you can ask them anything in our Q&A sessions. That I really feel like is the biggest thing that compared to a lot of the other static plans that you can go out there and you can Google static plan for a 5K or static plan for unbound gravel and you can find a lot of plans out there. I feel like one of the things that we're really adding to this monthly membership plan is your ability to access a coach and not access a coach in a forum, but actually talk one-on-one -on -one with a coach and get that insight and get that feedback of how can I improve personally and not have to wait three or four weeks to potentially not even receive any communication from your coach. So um, any questions from anybody that we've got on here tonight? There's a handful of you, I see. Okay, nothing coming through yet. So we have had static plans. These aren't new to us. It's just a a different way for us to use our static plans to help you. And a, 
probably about half of these are new plants. Half of them are ones that we've been using for a while. And I would say that the, the biggest benefits that we've seen is the consistency that these have created in an athlete's performance as an athlete's overall focus is on their goals. So a lot of what that training plan or what a static plan does is gives you that guidance, gives you the specialty and the focus of what, um, what somebody with a physiology background and, a, and years of training other individuals, not just individualized training for the, ourselves, but in 15 years of coaching, I've worked with hundreds of different athletes and, and help them reach their goals. And same with our other four coaches that work for Science of Speed. They've worked with hundreds of different athletes to help them achieve their goals and attain what they were shooting for. Um, I see Meg is on here and she's asking, uh, can I update my training ranges after the field test? You certainly can. And we've got um, in the training plans that you'll see, there is actually instructions on how you can go in and you can change your training ranges and training peaks. It doesn't matter how often you field test, if you're not updating those ranges, it's not updating your training ranges and training peaks. And that is what's creating that success, is having consistent data and consistent ranges that you're working on. Because if your ranges, let's use the bike for example, are 30 watts lower than where your FTP is actually at, we might want you doing threshold work with what the training plan is prescribing and instead you're doing very aerobic or tempo based work. So having that, those ranges updated consistently and frequently in there, Meg, is gonna be what is going to do that. And you can do that very easily on your own. It's finding the settings button, clicking on it and updating those ranges. Um, for our plans that we've got on here, if you haven't had a chance to log on to scienceofspeed.org and go to the store and look at the training plans that we have, you'll see there's a wide range. Right now, we're, we've got a very heavily dominant cycling training plan range. Um, and part of the reason for that is because as we get into the triathlon range with three different sports, it adds a little of a challenge to the training plan layout. So making everything work for individuals add some challenge to it. As you add three sports into it, you're looking at a minimum, of, you know, you're looking at six days of training, especially in our mid volume and up plans. And by having those six days of training, it adds a little bit of a challenge in terms of our building and how we lay them out. We wanna make sure that they work for a lot of people and that there's not a great uh, deal of injury that's being created from it. So we wanna make sure that the training is not only effective, but it's not overdoing it for the, for the majority of people. And that's why we have those low mid and high volume ranges in there. So be very aware of the ranges that you pick. If you do any of our low, high and mid volume or low, mid and high volume range training plans, I usually recommend going to a lower volume first. You can always add more on. You can always add more fuel to the fire. But if you pick our high volume range and you think, oh yeah, I've got time, that's perfectly fine. And you overdo it in the first three weeks, you pay for that. So even if you think your high volume range back down that volume a little bit. Go to the mid volume range plan, or if you think your mid volume range, maybe back down and go to the low volume range plan and look at that and talk to the coaches bi-weekly and see where they recommend you might add more time in. So on Wednesday, you've got an interval workout, but instead of having 60 minutes, you have 90 minutes. Maybe it's best for you to do that afterwards. And that's how this static plan uh, with the coaching um, availability could, could benefit you significantly. So. Um, if there's no other questions for this evening, oh, one more question. That's exactly right, yeah. So the question was, that's the flexibility to it, right? And, and that is a lot of it. There is flexibility to these plans, and that is what the coaches are there for, is to help you, help you get a better idea of, okay, how can I lay this out to best suit me? So it might not be the flexibility of a fully customized coaching plan where you can call up your coach on a Wednesday evening, you know, Wednesday afternoon at 4 o'clock and say, hey, I've got something tomorrow that came up in life. How can I adjust that? It's going to take a little bit more insight, but with that adjustability and with that access to a coach, you can still talk to them and see, you know, in the next two weeks, I see that I've got this block on my calendar. How can I change that? Because I know I've got X, Y, and Z that has to be done. Um, and, and that flexibility and that adjustability that the coach is offering you is going to be there for, perfect for you. So if there's no other questions for tonight. I think we've, uh, we've gone over everything that people have already asked, whether it's in, uh, on Instagram, Facebook, or, or even an email communication. So thank you guys so much for logging on tonight. If you have any more questions on the EDGE membership, how it works or how it could benefit you, please reach out to us, athletehelp at scienceofspeed.org, 
or message us through uh, through Instagram. That's a really good way to get in touch with us, um, and we try and respond as quickly as possible. So thank you guys, and have a great evening. Bye.